When you experience a time of great stress or trial or burden, do you sense your need to be God, or do you sense your need to be God plus something else? David was a man after God's own heart, of God's own heart, and when he felt burden, he knew that his greatest need was for God himself. That's expressed beautifully in Psalm 62. David writes in verse 1, For God alone my soul waits in silence. Verse 2, he says, He alone is my rock and my salvation. Then you go down to verse 5, For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence. Verse 6, He only is my rock and my salvation. Sometimes we get into a mode where we believe we really need God plus something. We need God and we need him to give us that job that we really wanted. We need God and we need him to give us that thing that we really would like to have. We need God and we really need him to give us that relationship that he want, we want to be restored or gained. We want God and we want him to fix our health problem. All those things can be good that I just mentioned, but God has designed your heart with a whole that can only be filled by him. And when you feel a burden and a longing and a problem, that should be a reminder to you that you desperately need God. God alone is the solution to your longing, not God plus something. So next time you feel the need for God, because he can get you something, know that what you want might be good, but it is not your deepest longing. Pray that God would help you to say with David, for God alone, my soul waits in silence. Have a great Thursday.